In this demonstration, we're going to take a look at the Explore tool found on the Map tab in ArcGIS Pro. So you can see I already have a project loaded and uh, the Map tab is activated. And under the Navigation section, or Navigate section, you have uh, a set of tools that allow you to do various types of navigation. Uh, the tool that's new to ArcGIS Pro that you may, may not be familiar with if you've been a, a long-term Arc Map user is this Explore button. Uh, or explore tool as it is. Uh, so the explore tool uh, when activated and you do have to activate it um, uh, you activate it just by clicking on it you'll notice how it changed from a kind of a grayish background to a bluish background at that point with that explore tool activated uh, you've essentially activated four sets of functions uh, the ability to zoom in to zoom out uh, to pan and to identify uh, in ArcMap, those were four separate functions and four separate uh, buttons and tools. So they've basically taken those four tools that you had in ArcMap, zoom in, zoom out, pan, and identify, and they've included them in a single uh, tool called the Explore tool. So as long as this tool is active, which means you know, you've clicked it and it has a bluish type background, uh, at that point I can uh, zoom in or zoom out, uh, and there are different ways you can zoom in or zoom out. Uh, typically the easiest way is to use your mouse. So what I'm going to do at this point is I'm going to use the scroll wheel on my mouse and I'll push the scroll wheel away from me to zoom in, pull it towards me to zoom out. Right? And you can do that very quickly or very slowly, however you want to. You can also hold down the right mouse button and as you hold the right mouse button down, you can zoom in or zoom out. Uh, that actually is the fastest way to zoom in or zoom out, right? just by holding that right mouse button down and dragging towards you or away from you. Uh, now. If you, you know, if you like the function in ArcMap that allows you to draw a rectangle and zoom in, that function is still available in ArcGIS Pro as well. Uh, it can be initiated in a couple of different ways. Uh, one would be to hold the shift key down on your keyboard. And you'll notice when I do that, my cursor is going to change from a pointer to a little magnifying glass. Right? And so you'll want to leave that shift key held down. With the shift, shift key held down, you'll drag with your mouse to draw a rectangle, release, and then it zooms in. All right, so you know, that's the same functionality that we had in ArcMap. It's just it's hidden a little bit in ArcGIS Pro. Now, it's also available to you through that Quick Access Toolbar. Uh, by default, it's not turned on. Right? So normally, the Quick Access Toolbar looks like this by default, but you can very easily turn that on just by going to the little drop-down arrow, clicking on Rectangle Zoom In, and then it adds it to the interface, and then you simply click it, draw a rectangle, and zoom in. So, Several different ways you can zoom in and zoom out, either with your mouse or uh, with the ArcGIS Pro interface. Uh, now, the, the other thing you can do here is you can also use your keyboard for zooming and panning. Uh, if you have uh, plus and minus keys on your keyboard, plus allows you to zoom in, minus allows you to zoom out. All right. And then as far as panning functionality, uh, that is defined with this Explore button as well. Uh, that simply involves dragging in whatever direction you want to go. You can see you have a little pointer icon or pointer cursor that allows you to drag in any direction that you want to go. Keep in mind you can use your keyboard as well. Uh, the arrow keys on your keyboard allow you to do incremental pans in any direction. That's all I'm doing here is just clicking my up, down, left, and right arrow keys on my keyboard. Uh, you can do the same thing with page up or page down if you have those on your keyboard. So what I'm doing now, page down goes south, page up goes north. So a lot of different ways that you can zoom in, zoom out, uh, pan. You can also do identify operations as well. Um, and uh, there's a few things that you need to, need to know about the identify operations. Right, if you click the drop down arrow under the explore button, you'll see some functions here, a little context menu that defines um, how you should be able to, to initiate that selection set. Uh, in this case, I have selected and contents defined as the layer to use for my identify operations. And what that means is just whatever layer I currently have selected in my table of contents. So at this point, if I click a feature on the map, just by pointing and clicking, what it will do is do an identify operation uh, on whatever feature was clicked and return the attribute information uh, in, uh, in a pop-up window. Now you do have other options here as well, right? You might want to use uh, any visible layers. So any layers that have been marked as visible at that point, if I click on them, now I'm clicking on multiple, uh, identifying multiple features from multiple layers. So you can see it'll divide it up uh, by layer. It'll tell you how many features were identified, uh, the individual features. And you'll notice as you're clicking through these that it highlights them on the interface as, as well. Or city limits, the parcel that you clicked. So you can 
uh, you know, you can perform identify operations on multiple layers at the same time. So, <clears throat> so your options here are topmost layer, visible layer, uh, selectable layers, right? So selectable layers would be, would be any layers that have been marked as selectable. So in this case, parcels. So in that case, I would only get uh, one feature because that's the only selectable layer. So lots of different options here, including no pop-ups as well. <clears throat> so a lot of different options there. And uh, so again, just to kind of to, to kind of recap, um, there are four functions that are bundled up in this explore tool. Those being zoom in, zoom out, uh, pan, and identify functions. Those were four separate uh, tools that you had access to in the Art Map interface that they've combined into a single tool in ArcGIS Pro, uh, which is nice, I think. Right? It doesn't take a whole lot of getting used to to. Uh, to figure out how to use that explore button and um, again limits the cluttering that you have on your uh, user interface so it's a nice tool all right that is all for now i appreciate you joining me and we'll see you next time